Happy Meatless Mondays. What up, fam? It is C. Ivy, and I am back with the first installment of my new series. And it will be called Meatless Mondays. I'm trying to incorporate less meat in my diet, although I only eat fish mostly, about 80% of the time, and chicken. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be incorporating some meatless meals, and if you're interested, stay tuned. You can do your variation. You can add meat if you'd like. That's completely up to you. But today, I'm going to be doing a acorn squash, or you can do butternut squash. It's completely up to you. And this is locally grown. I'm in New York. This was grown in Jersey. And what I've done is I've already pitted the squash, so you're just going to take the pits or the seeds out with the spoon. Now you can discard the seeds or you can roast them like um, pumpkin seeds. They are edible. So that is completely up to you. And next time I may possibly roast them and incorporate them into the dish. All right, so you're just gonna move the seeds out. Dump them into my garbage. Okay, these have already been rinsed thoroughly. And what you will need for this dish is an alternative type of protein because it is a meatless Monday. So uh, I have here the Trader Joe's organic tri-colored quinoa. Looks like this. Or I also have the organic white quinoa, but for this video I'll be using a tricolor. It doesn't matter. Or here's another option, the Trader Joe's 10 minute bulgur. And this was like a dollar or dollar ninety-nine. This was about three ninety-nine. It's a decent sized bag. And this was about maybe one ninety-nine. So price wise is very economical because it swells up a lot. I will be using raw blanched slithered almonds. I use these in my salad, so if you have some type of nuts, feel free to use it. You can use almonds, you can use pecans, you can use walnuts. It's completely up to you. Pistachios, cashews. Um, Trader Joe's dried cranberries, fortified with cranberry seed oil. Coconut oil or an oil of your choice. So if you have olive oil, olive oil will work well with this dish as well. And seasoning of your choice. I'm just using ground sea salt, ground cinnamon, and turmeric root. All right, so right now I just have my egg corn squash. And I have a roasting pan with just a little bit of water in it so it can steam. And I'm just going to place them in the dish, like so. And then I'm going to be using about a half a teaspoon of coconut oil, just to drizzle lightly over the top. And I'm just drizzling it lightly over both of them. I'm going to roast these in an oven at about 350 degrees. I will cover them with foil. You can cover them with foil or you don't have to if you have a lid. I do have a lid for this, but I will be covering it with foil to steam it. And I'll show you what they look like when they're done. You should be able to stick a fork in it and the fork should be able to come out easily, kind of like when you're baking a sweet potato. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pinch of turmeric and just sprinkle it over the top. Completely forgot. I was about to put them in the oven and then I looked and said, okay, they're not seasoned. So, all right, I got my sprinkle of turmeric. And turmeric is not salty. The benefits of turmeric are endless, so. I will put some information in the info box on the health benefits of turmeric. 
for your body health, face health, even hair health. Okay, so we got our turmeric. If you don't have turmeric in your house, you can use curry powder. We all know curry powder has turmeric in it, so use curry powder. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of ground cinnamon, just a little, to lightly coat it. So it looks like this, if you can see that. Sea salt, one grind, both sides, that's all you need. And I'm going to put them in the oven. And also I'm going to be putting some freshly ground black pepper on it. So, one crack over both. I'm going to put them in the oven. They are well seasoned. And I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, I'm back. Um, the squash is done. Let me just show you what I mean by done. You're just going to take a fork. And it should go right in. Very easily. If it has any toughness or any give, you may need to put it back in the oven for another five minutes. Um, with the foil over it. So that's how you know it's done. And we're going to put this to the side. And I'm going to show you the topping. I have my quinoa that's been cooked. Um, follow the di package directions for your quinoa. So just very simple directions. And I just cooked it with water. It has no seasoning or anything in it yet. And I'm going to measure out about a cup of that firmly pressed. a little heaping but not too much. I'm gonna put that in the bowl. Next thing you're gonna do is take your dried cranberries. You can also use raisins, dried blueberries. It's a matter of taste. I am not a raisin fan. I think I'm going to do about one fourth cup and you can also add on if you'd like of dried cranberries. I'm going to do a fourth cup of the raw slithered almonds or nut of your choice. And this is optional. You can dice up an apple. I probably will. I'm still debating. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly mix everything together. Braid it. So remember, that's one cup quinoa. That's a quarter cup raw slithered almonds. A quarter cup dried cranberries. Again, I'm going to be using one teaspoon, and this is your healthy fat of coconut oil or olive oil. And you can use this, serve this as a side dish as well. Just season to taste. I'm going to put a little cinnamon in this. I have no measurement. Just put cinnamon in to taste. You notice I'm not using a lot of salt in this dish. You're getting your flavor from your dried cranberries. That's good. Your nuts. I 
and you get a slight, excuse you chewing, you get a slight um, flavor from the coconut oil and it's really nice. Just cleaning off my work shoes. Okay. Okay, you're gonna come back to your squash. And you're gonna stuff it. trying to figure out if you're counting calories I would have to say this is about a half a cup in each approximately all right we're going to sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon on top and I'm gonna put this back in the oven at 350 uncovered or you can put it in your broiler for about 10 minutes just to warm everything back up because everything's cool now okay here is the finished product i it's still very hot what i did was i simply put it in the oven at 350 degrees for an additional 10 minutes to warm everything back up i took it out of the oven and i put it under my broiler for about maybe five to seven minutes just watch it to make sure that nothing burns it gives it more of a crisp texture on the top and we're just going to plate that up What I have here is just a mixture of greens that is chopped organic, well, organic spinach that I lightly chopped and romaine hearts that I chopped up. Those are organic romaine hearts from Trader Joe's. And I'm just going to place my acorn squash down. Now that is a lot. This is really big, so you may be able to get away with cutting that in half, depending on how hungry you are, depending on your calories. Remember, squash is little to no calories in squash. It's very high in fiber. And of course, we know any green, uh, sorry, any orange or yellow vegetables are extremely high in vitamin A. Um, I'm a work in progress guys I'm not saying I eat like this 100% of the time but I am a work in progress I'm trying to be more responsible for what I put into my body as far as eating um, I know sometimes organic can be a little expensive but if you do live somewhere and you have a Trader Joe's in your area I would suggest you go there I am able to get as you can see over here apples and pears in by the bag load um, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight organic apples to ten came in a bag for two ninety nine. So you can eat well, and it's not that expensive. What I'm going to be serving my salad with, or the dressing I'm going to be using, is also the Trader Joe's light champagne vinaigrette, or you can use whatever dressing you prefer. Thanks for watching, guys. If you do make this or if you have a variation on this, please uh, leave it down in the comments box. I would be very interested to see your spin on this. And stay tuned. If you like the Meatless Mondays videos, um, let me know. I'll continue to do them because I definitely have a few ideas in my mind. Um, I do still eat meat, fish, and chicken. And hey, who knows one day. Just give it a little taste.
and it's really, really good. I'm not gonna come on camera because, yeah, <laughs> I'm cleaning, it's Sunday. It's really good. The creaminess of the squash with the crunchiness, if you like texture, I am a foodie. With the texture of the nuts and the tartness of the cranberries, absolutely delicious. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.